In this lesson, you will learn the following. This lesson is based on the following business scenario. There are two main menu trees available in the SAP system, the standard SAP menu and the custom user menu. At this point, you should be getting familiar with the standard SAP menu tree. In addition to the SAP menu tree, you also have a specific user tree which is set up just for your user ID. Notice how the menu options on the left have changed. This user menu was set up by the system administrator specifically for this SAP user ID, and the menu bar now indicates that you are looking at your user menu. Now you are back to the SAP menu. In addition to the standard SAP menu tree and the user menu, you can set up your own favorites menu. Notice the highlighted area to the left. Let's add some transactions to the favorites menu. Now open financial accounting. Now open General Ledger. Now go to Posting. Now let's add transaction FB50 to your favorites menu. Now click the highlighted button Add to Favorites on top to add the selected transaction to your favorites menu. Notice how SAP has added the selected transaction to your favorites menu. You can now access transaction FB50 from your favorites instead of going through the standard SAP menu. Now click Add to Favorites on top to add the selected transaction to your favorites. Good job! Now let's remove the first entry from our favorites menu. Now remove this entry from your favorites menu by pressing the highlighted icon Delete from Favorites. You only have the two entries you added in your favorites menu. Now let's change the description for one of them. Let's change the standard SAP description to something a bit easier. Click on the text field. Type Post GL document in the text field and then click on the continue icon. Excellent. Now the transaction shows your description instead of the standard SAP text. You can put together a favorites menu with all the transactions you use most often. This will save you a lot of time because you won't have to go through the lengthy SAP menu. Now click on the user profile option. Now select own data. This is the user profile screen. Notice the different fields you could fill out, such as your name, address, department, etc. 
This information can be reviewed by other SAP users if they need to find your office location or your phone number, etc. This is the Defaults tab. You could set your Start menu, your Logon language, the decimal notation, standard date format, default printer, etc. Notice the current date format. Let's change the format now. Click on the drop-down icon in the highlighted area to display possible options for the date format field. Select the highlighted option. Well done! Now we need to save our changes. We're all done! Notice the success message at the very bottom of your SAP screen. Well done! You have just learned how to navigate the user menu, use the favorites menu, and work with user settings.